on today's show, Yaya Banayoda visits us all the way from Cyprus. And she meets two contestants ready to battle out to make her signature dish. Yeah, I feel like that's two dishes. That is two dishes. You feel like that's two dishes. One contestant is ready for battle. I'm really determined to win this competition. <laughs> so, well, surely so. that's cheating. And the other will take it as far as she can to get the win. <laughs> so I'm not cheating, I'm just helping. Who will win Yaya's approval and her championship belt? I am going to take away that title belt. They're both saltless. And who will face her forfeit? We're going to put it into a blender with our mixer. It's quality over quantity. As long as it's edible and I don't kill anyone, yeah. I'll be happy. Yeah, let's hope. I'm a bit scared. No! Oh. Slightly better flavour. <laughs> Welcome to episode 5 of... Yeah, yeah. Show, Show me how, how to cook! cook. Let's do it! <laughs> Hello Yasas, whatever you're doing, wherever you are, you need to stop, take a seat because it's time for Yaya yeah, Show Me How To Cook. On this show we aim to entertain, of course, who wouldn't want to watch fiery competition, two eager contestants having a go at some very complicated Cypriot recipes, all from memory, with the aim to win Yaya's vote and avoid an unpleasant possibly embarrassing forfeit. On this show, Yaya holds the torch and passes on her recipes for all of us to learn. This week we meet Yaya Banayoda. She has travelled all the way from beautiful Cyprus, from Limassol. I bet you're wondering what we're cooking, right? All right, I'll tell you, but shh, because our contestants have no idea. So our recipe number one is kyoftemes, and our recipe number two, bulgori. Delicious. Yaya is cooking kyoftedas and bulgori. Kyoftedas are meatballs mixed with egg, potato, mincemeat, onion, breadcrumbs and various spices and then they are deep fried. Did I mention they are incredibly addictive to eat? And bulgori, traditionally made in Cyprus, is a delicious accompaniment with bulgur wheat and vermicelli. It's flavoured with tomato, onion and chicken stock. It can be eaten on its own or mixed with Greek yogurt. Yaya will be arriving very shortly. I better go and get the Greek coffee on. Hello! Hello! Hello, Yaya, how are you? I'm fine, how are oh, you? Good, thank you. Lovely to have you here. It's absolutely wonderful to have Yaya Banayada here with us today. She's come all the way from Cyprus. She lives in Limassol, but she's originally from the village of Alephrigon. Yaya, welcome, and it's lovely to have you here. Thank nice you for coming. Nice to be coming. here, thanks. So, Yaya, tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, I was born in London, got married in London. I used to work at my parents' fish and chip shop in the Elephant of Castle. Oh. And then when I got married, me and my husband bought a fish shop again. Wow, so it's been a whole life of fish yeah, and chip shops. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and do you have any children, grandchildren? I've got three sons and one grandson. Lovely. And um, do they cook at all? Have they, have they taken um, up doing all the fish and chip really, shops? Not really, no, yeah. no, no. How did you learn how to cook? Where did you, where did you get the interest from? Well, when we were still in London and I had my third baby, mm -hmm. we brought over my sister-in-law to help out. She started cooking all these lovely dishes and macaroni al forno, and then she made all these lovely cakes and everyone praised her. And I sort of got jealous <laughs> and I thought, I'd start doing this. And that's how I got into it, really. So she was your inspiration? Yeah. Today, we're making two dishes and they're very popular in the Cypriot community. Do you want to reveal it to us? Which is um, like keftedes. Yes. With, to go with Burguri. Lovely. We're going to go and meet our two contestants. Mrs. Opa Size, Mariana, goes up against Mr. Opa to Life, Marios Chakos. Should we go meet them? Yeah, yeah let's, go. let's go. Hi, I'm Mariana Niafitu. I'm a musical theatre actress. I've been in various musicals, danced for Little Mix, On the Brits, The X Factor, and also big hit movie Mamma Mia 2, Here We Go Again. And I'm also known as a fitness instructor for Opa Size Greek Dance Fitness. I'm not too bad at cooking. I've cooked lots of different dishes from all around the world, but Greek cooking definitely is the cuisine that scares me the most, even though my mum is the best Greek cook in the whole entire world. Both my Yayas have lived in Cyprus, so unfortunately I haven't been taught from Yaya herself. But my mum and also my mother-in-law have shown me lots of different dishes. And yeah, so I'm not a bad cook, but I'm probably not the best 
Greek cook. Even though I'm a little bit worried about who I'm up against, it doesn't matter because on the day I have to turn up. I'm gonna do it for me, for my mum, for my yaya and for all the ladies. So let's just hope maybe it's a man that I am up against because then that way I can go full swing girl power. There's no way I'm losing. Who run the world? Girls. Hello, yaya. Hi, Hi, my name is Mario Savram. I'm also known as uh, DJ Mario Ochakos, where I have my show every Wednesday night from 7 until 9 p.m. on Greek Beat Radio. Also, I'm a DJ. I do christenings, engagements, weddings. I'm very proud to be associated also with Inspiration FM uh, in Northampton, where I am a DJ with DJ Aggie and DJ Dahlia on the Greek show, uh, which is on Thursday evening. I also... Uh, do a lot of Greek dancing, a lot of Greek nights, which I've been doing at the Tarsus restaurant in Southern. In regards to Greek food, my wife is the cook. My wife, my beautiful wife Maria is fantastic. I help her, but I don't really do the cooking. So this is gonna be a great experience for me. As long as I'm not burning pans, and as long as I'm not uh, having food that's totally disastrous and burnt, I'm looking forward to this, but I am going to be competitive and I certainly don't want to do the forfeit. Oh, that's yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. What are we making? Keftedes and burkuri. Okay. <laughs> I'm happy with the burkuri, but I'm not so sure about the keftedes, so I'm definitely nervous right now. Yeah. I feel like that's two dishes. That is two dishes. I feel like that's two simple. dishes. Well, the, the reason we're doing two is because actually they're quite quickly quick to make. Yeah, they're so quick. I was always thinking about maybe with the texture, where am I going to get it right and to remember everything that she's actually said. So now that we're all here, yeah, yeah, yeah. show me how, how to cook. cook. Let's do it. <laughs> First of all, let's put this <clears throat> mince in the bowl and then we chop up some onions. Do you have to chop them thick? Or, no, or thin? no, as thin as possible really. Yeah. Okay, so we add the onions to the mince, mm -hmm. and then the potato, we're going to grate some potato. And is that maidana? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which is, um, parsley. Yeah. Parsley. It is yeah. parsley. parsley. Yeah. Did you hear me with that? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I love the smell of mint. I love mint. Absolutely love it. Why is it important that you're, you're scrunching it up? Well, you're so going to put it like that, are you? Well, it depends. I mean, <laughs> well, you could do it now, yeah. if you really want. <laughs> <laughs> we can put <laughs> some cinnamon. cinnamon. I love cinnamon. Yeah. Okay. This Can't is see. the Two egg is. Egg cooking. Yeah. About two of these. Is that salt? Of it's better to be undersorted rather than salty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I, I use a little bit of vinegar. It gives it more. It goes the fluffier. Or something. Mm. I'm going to mix them up now, and then I'm going to add breadcrumbs to see how much they're going to come together. Yeah. All right, so far. Yeah, not bad. Not bad it's at the minute is what I'm feeling. Mm -hmm. Not the worst. And I yeah. added the breadcrumbs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. How much did you put? I put them in two of these. I was watching. I was watching. <laughs> two handfuls. <laughs> <laughs> and if you can leave them a little bit, half an hour, say, before you start cooking, leave them better. What? Does that, what it does that gets do? the flavours developed, mm. see? I mean, they're quite soft, but they once you get them in hot oil, they'd be all right. Yeah. This is for about 24, I think, your recipe said. I think, well, where, whereabouts? I mean, it depends, it, it how, depends you make how, them. how big you make them or small. Some people make them round, round. and some yeah. people do the long ways. Yeah. Right, I'm done now with the shaping. Now we have to heat oil till it's quite hot and mm -hmm. put them in. Right. Till they get a nice crust on both sides. You know, and then you lower the heat till they're cooked inside. Okay. And they're nice and golden. Yeah, yeah, we're making bushkori, also known as a poor man's dish, because in, in the village people could make something out of a few ingredients. And um, you know, and it's all very healthy as well. Can you show us how to make bushkori, please? Well, first of all, you need some onion. Soften it, right? Mm -hmm. Then you add the vermicelli or fiven. So it gets nice and brown. Then you add the tomatoes. The burkurin, which is one cup, say, burkurin to two cups of stock, okay. hot stock. And then you stir it and leave it to cook, low heat. So it takes about 10 minutes to prepare and 10 minutes to cook, 20 minutes it's done. 
my memory is quite good, so I definitely am relying on my amazing memory to get me through this today. I just hope that I can try and get the texture right, you know, not to forget to put any salt in, and I've got to make sure I do that and put the seasoning in as well. It smells like your feathers in here. It smells amazing. I'm really hungry. We you can, can put yogurt with the squid. It goes really well. Actually, it goes it well with both. Yeah, it does. It? Yeah. It's an extra it's Right. Very soft on the inside, mm. Mm. very crunchy on the outside. Mm -hmm. So you know what this means, don't you? Leah goes and has a rest, and you two get in the kitchen and get cooking. I'm going to have one of, more of these because you can't just have one Me too. There, really. <laughs> See you soon. Opas. Now, Yaya called these dishes quick and easy, but how quick and easy are they? Make Yaya proud, get cooking. Okay. We've got the ingredients here, but we've also got some spices and ingredients here at the back. Let me explain. That's how I like it. Right, Murray, I'm going to come over to you. Can you cook any Greek foods? I'm good at doing prep work, mm -hmm. but yeah. cooking, my wife Maria, who yeah. is a fantastic cook and I love her to death. God, I do. We've been together for over 30 years. Right, yeah. so oh. hold on. So you're good at cutting the onions because <laughs> if you look at what's going on over here, this is not going very well. Oh my God, I can't cut the onions. Seriously, I'm struggling over here. So Mariana, what about you? you? You've just got married, haven't you? I have, yeah. I do m more of the cooking, but yeah. actually he's really good, he does cook. Okay. But I cook more, so yeah. Um, yeah, you know, we've got a good balance. I'm very proud of the people that I've worked with um, in everything that I've done. Yeah. And um, my mother at the end of the day, that was a bit of cheating there. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. You know, a little bit of seasoning goes a long way sometimes. I'm not cheating, I'm just helping. No, you're right. No! Oh, I shot myself in the foot. Now, if you win, I helped you. You know what? I need to put more salt in. Thank you, Mariana, for doing that. Tell me about your yaya, Mario. She was very fussy because she came over to England once. The first time we took her down the escalators, she turned around and she went, I'm going to Satan, I'm going to hell. <laughs> going down those escalators. Go, going down In the, the Bals Southern <laughs> Mariana, your yeah, yeah. Does she yes. know your both grandparents? Um, Do they live here? Uh, my grandparents are all in Cyprus. Right, okay. So um, my yeah, yeah, she would literally like spaxy the chickens. Ah, so yeah. basically that means she'd crack the neck open. Crack the neck open. Crack the neck open. What's going on? Yeah, I was rolling them. <laughs> I rolled them and fall apart. Okay, so Mario has forgotten to put the mint in. He's busy talking and I've spotted that he's not put mint in it and I'm so happy because I nearly forgot, but I've clocked it. Guys, I think we should go and fry these right now. Mario, what are you doing? I thought you finished. I didn't put enough mint in there at the beginning and so therefore when I was putting it in, I was just reshaping them and putting the mint in then to actually um, put that in for the fry. So, well, surely so, that's <laughs> cheating. So Mariana, are you nervous about having less cryptos? It's quality over quantity. Yep. Maybe. Oh, okay, sizzling away there. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Fine. They're not breaking. They're not breaking. She's going They're not high, breaking. She's going very high pitched over here. I am. When I get excited, I go even more high pitched than I am. I'm so happy that my kiosk haven't broken in the oil. That was one of my major worries. I was very, very happy when I was cooking and preparing everything and doing the actual frying. I was getting that absolutely right. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, we've got a little bit too lally in here. It must be the heat, the smell of your feathers, something, but we're very excited. I think you're getting scared now. I've oh, yeah? gone on about this forfeit so long and you're a bit like, oh gosh, do I want to do this forfeit? Yeah, I've got to be really competitive now. I've got to. So. And so do I. So do I. I'm not doing this forfeit. <laughs> I am going to take away that title belt. I have to say it. It's got to be mine. Well, I'm going to crush the feed then, and I'm really determined to win this competition. <laughs> Whoopas! So I'm not burning anything. I'm going to cook that bukkuri, and I'm going to go to win. I want to go to win this competition. I'm going to take. You're going to take a risk. <laughs> it's a risk. I'm, gonna, a risk. I'm trying Enjoy to think it. of what it's, it looks like, mm -hmm. and it can't, it can't be. The tomato can't go in. The tomato's got to go in next. I've decided, guys. Okay. These are going to simmer. 
and we're going to be back and we're going to plate these up for you. Basically, I don't want to do this forfeit. I don't know what it is, but it doesn't sound nice at all. So I have to win. I thought my gofteres are mean. I thought they were good. And with the bukkuri, I didn't burn anything. Oh my God, it's wonderful. It's been a brilliant day. We've had so much fun. We've danced, we've laughed, and we've cooked amazing food. These are the two plates presented to you. Um, you don't know which plate is which. You don't know whose is whose. Nice. We did salt. Okay. Can I try that one? Then? Yeah, go for it. Okay. They're both saltless. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> slightly better flavour, slightly. Okay. Not a lot of difference. And what about texture? That's more smoother texture, a little more chunky. Right. right. Should we move on to Bufgurim? So, Bufgurim. So, you've tried that one, what did you think? Again, it's not seasoned. Do you think lemon in my help? Mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> not on this. <laughs> <laughs> Which one has impressed you the most? Mm, I think this one. This one? Yeah. That means we lift the plate, we reveal the colour, and we see who the winner is, okay? Oh, yeah! Oh, guys. 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 Oh, and at the end of the day, all bust to life. I've won! I am so happy. I've represented for all the Greek women out there. I, I, I'm really happy that I'm just, I'm beaming. I am hope I've made my mum and my yaya proud. Over, 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 over. It's been a fantastic day and it's been lots of fun. And I'm going to give you these as well. This is yaya's recipes. I just want to say a massive thank you to yaya. Come all the way from Cyprus. She's been fabulous on the show. Thank, Thank you, Yaya. Thank you, Yaya. Thank you. And now Mr. Chakos is up for that forfeit and we'll be right back. So we've got three parts to this forfeit. The mm-hmm. first part, you have to choose one of these drinks. These are our bases. Mm-hmm. This is lemonade, orange juice and milk. Mm-hmm. Okay. The second part is you have to choose three of these. And the third part, whatever we reveal, in these things. We're going to put it into a blender with our mixer and you're going to drink it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, Matt, I can't believe that. Oh, yeah. It's very calm. Great, right, Marianne. You didn't even Follow. know what's under here. First of all, choose your drink. Which one I'll would you go like? For the lemonade. Which one of these lovely dishes would you like to choose? Uh, I'll go for this one. This here. one here? Ah, lovely daraman. Mmm. Okay. Rodro, fishy, very nice. <laughs> <laughs> Second dish. Yeah, I'll go for this one. This is sardines. Mm. Third and final Maybe choice. One. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have the cocktail and the cocktail. You're gonna have a mix of sardines, bulgogi with with kiofteles and darama with your base of fizzy lemonade. Okay. All right. Happy yeah. with that? Now let's just see if you had chosen any of these two, what they would have been. Uh, oh, watermelon. Mm, yeah. And, and the final one? Uh, no, I'm happy with the other <laughs> ones. I'm not with a. Uh, this is baklava. I'm happy. Okay. All right. All right. Let's see if you're still happy when we get this mixture back. Welcome back, Yaya. She's back just in time to see this wonderful delight of Mario drinking this <laughs> lovely smoothie. To all my friends and to all my family who I love very much, but as I always say, Obas to life. Obas. Here we go. Oh, he's going oh. for it. Oh my god. It's disgusting. I'm so sorry, Mario, but I'm glad it's you that's doing it and not me. <laughs> this is actually very nice. <laughs> <laughs> This man is the most positive man I've ever met. Ever. I enjoyed it. It was great. Thank God. I had a great time. Great, great time. And I was, I've done the forfeit and I'm very happy about that. Until next time for some more mouth-watering Greek and Cypriot foods. Now for our closing message. Yasas kecharasas kena. Kena yasas. Because yaya knows best. Absolutely. See you later, guys. Yasas. Yasas. I've had a great day. Fantastic day. I've enjoyed myself, I've enjoyed doing the cooking, I felt really happy with what I was doing. I am a competitive person. If you make a few errors, you can improve on that. 
and I've had a great time today. It's been an absolutely amazing experience. I've really enjoyed it. It's been a blast. I've always wanted to do a cooking show and what better way to do it than one with a yaya and two with Greek food, the best food in the world. And at the end of the day, I got exactly what I wanted. I'm gonna be the best wifey in the world. Yay! <laughs>